right guys welcome to my youtube channel rohu tech my name is rohan and today in this video i'll be showing you how you can migrate your wordpress website from any other hosting company to your siteground hosting account so siteground is a web hosting platform which is already been recommended by wordpress.org so to testify my statement you can just visit wordpress.org/hosting and in that just check this out that they have already mentioned that in our opinion the hosts below represent some of the best and the brightest of the hosting world so they have listed some of the three hosting space bluehost dreamhost and siteground but i i would go for siteground because i have been using siteground for a while and i love their their services so let's dive into the step by step process of migrating your wordpress so now we are on the siteground tutorial page and there they have a beautiful article over wordpress automatic migrator so siteground has already built a wordpress plugin called siteground migrator which you just have to install it on your wordpress website current working wordpress website and just following these four steps you will be able to migrate your wordpress website from your current hosting company to the siteground hosting account so let's get started so first go to your cpanel and go inside wordpress tool wordpress migrator so let's come on this article the very first step is to generate a migration token in siteground cpanel so let's generate a migration tool so first of all select the domain you want to create a token for and here they have mentioned enter path which is an optional thing so we don't have to care about that so i'll click on generate and the token has been created you don't have to copy this because the token is already here you can copy to clipboard later on also so let's move on to the second step so the token is generated now the second step is install siteground migrator plugin on your website so for this video i'll be migrating my rohotech website from my current hosting space which is on aws to the siteground so for that i'll be going on wp admin under plugin i'll click on add new and i will search for site ground migrator so this is the plugin i'll click on install now click activate So we have completed our second step that is install siteground migrator plugin to your wordpress here they have mentioned a simple note that make sure your wordpress application has a valid email so you can receive notifications about the success of your transfer you can change it in wordpress admin panel settings and general so that is again something we need, we can check for ourselves settings under general So this is the email ID I I am using. So my email ID is just fine for me. Let's move on to the third step. Paste the migration token in the plugin to start the migration. So let's go to the plugin first. So this is the plugin SiteGround Migrator. It is already been activated. let's see where the menu has created so this is the sg migrator admin menu and here they are saying that to copy and paste the token so i'll just copy this and paste it here and there they have written send notification email when migration is over So I'll just initiate the transfer. The 
this will take a while depending upon how big your wordpress website is so it has already started the migration or i would say they are first downloading the files file download is completed now site migration has started and done so transfer is completed successfully i'll just go to the site So if you have checked my site earlier this is how my website looks like and this is the site they have migrated so just check the domain here it is just a temporary domain website where they have migrated but we need to update our dns servers in order to render that particular migrated website on the perfect domain on our domain so in my case it should be rohutech.com but as you can see the database and the files all everything is migrated it's just that in the database the image urls has been loaded from this particular domain and of course this domain does not exist in our database in our database the domain is rohutech.com so if we update the dns server and once the dns is propagated then your website will be working completely fine so let's go to the tutorial again so this was the third step fourth step is just to check your website and update your name server's record to finish the migration so before moving on to the next step i would like to mention here that is something which is not mentioned in the article it is about ssl so as you all know that rohutech.com is on https and so for that we need to install ssl certificate so before updating the dns records I would highly recommend that you update your SSL certificate first because um, I did the same mistake and I ran into some problem. Uh, I'm sure this problem won't come again and again, but it is just a disclaimer or a warning. I would say that you make sure that you install your SSL certificate before updating the DNS. So for that, you can go to your cPanel. and under security go to ssl tls manager click on manage ssl sites so as you can see i have already installed ssl certificate for rohutech.com so this is an external ssl certificate i have bought from komodo ssl company i could say the company is actually sectico limited and their website is komodo ssl So this is where I've bought my SSL certificate. So if you are using SiteGrounds, their own SSL certificate, and under security, click on Let's Encrypt. And just select the domain name and select any of the SSL certificate as per your requirement, and then install. Okay. So how you can install your external SSL certificate is I've copied the certificate and pasted it here. I copied the private key and pasted it here. You don't have to care about that is certificate authority bundle. That is an optional thing. And click on install. Otherwise, you can also do this. You just have to select your domain name and autofill by domain. So when you click by when you click autofill by domain, as your website is already accessible over internet, uh, by clicking on this button 
they will actually fetch your certificates over the internet and they get populated here yeah, so it doesn't matter at all you just remove that and click on install and your SSL certificate will be installed so this is how you install your SSL certificate before updating your DNS record so that is something a very important point I experienced myself so I thought of adding it to the video itself so let's move on to the step 4 for updating the DNS records so let's perform the fourth step now the fourth step is just to update your DNS so I'll go on GoDaddy where I have bought my domain name Rohutech and as you can see the earlier DNS or name servers will were AWS I will change them to side ground so I am hoping this DNS propagation happens soon mostly the DNS propagation time is of 48 hours but usually GoDaddy does the DNS propagation within 5 to 10 minutes let's check if the DNS has propagated or not so for that we will go to dnschecker.org and we will type our domain name and we need to check ns that is name server so as you can see the name servers have got updated so these are the different locations where these name servers have got resolved and the cross means they are not resolved so it seems that all over the world the name servers have got updated so that was it if you want to confirm you can of course copy this and check if the name server was the same that's it so these were the simple four steps in order to transfer or move your complete website from any other hosting space or hosting company to a site ground hosting account all right then so this was it from my side for this video hope you guys liked the video then don't forget to give a thumbs up that will motivate me to come up with more informative videos like this please share comment and subscribe to my channel if you are not and stay tuned for more such videos till then stay healthy be kind and keep hustling thank you so much